right, so I call this certain grip the butterfly grip, and I call it that because I made kind of a Wu-Tang symbol with my hands. That's what I use to catch and control the wrist when I'm trying to disarm a weapon. So, going a little closer, I want my thumbs overlapped, and I grab onto a forearm of either arm, like so, or other hand, inside, outside. Boom, on top, inside, outside, below. Really doesn't matter. The point is that I've got this overlap, I've got extra control, and I want to lock down the bones in a specific way. So with this outside grip, I've got the inside of my index finger knuckle here placed between his radius and ulna. I've got my thumb wrapped around, grabbing his radius. I've got my middle finger and ring finger grabbing his ulna, and these two fingers pull as the index finger pushes in to lock his bones, which has a good effect, controls him well. He doesn't like it. Good way to move him around, right? Now, with the butterfly grip, I've got the beauty. I can do that on the inside at the same time. So once again, between the radius and ulna, grabbing onto the bones of his forearm, clamping down tight. This time it's just double action. So the chance of him getting his hands away are pretty slim and I get that with the butterfly grip. Lock down, so I can do what I want. First wrist lock is katake tori. So, got his hand here. The points I want to control, first point here between the pinky and ring finger knuckle, I want to control that with my thumb. The second point is this far corner base of his thumb. I want to control it with the pads of my fingers like so. You want to take a bite out of it, pull your grip in tighter, which will start to create this effect. So I'm doing two things at once here. I'm trying to fold his palm towards his forearm, which already locks him, and then on top of that I'm taking it outward, which will Take them off balance like so. So it's a winding wrist lock that is both folding and twisting at the same time. It's perfect for taking them down to the ground, perfect for setting up sweeps. It just so happens to be perfect for opening up the grip for disarms as well be done with one hand. This might take a little bit of strength, especially if you have smaller hands. It's a good idea to get a second hand involved and I reinforce the point of the thumb, like so. Second wrist lock is a straight fold, just trying to put his palm to his forearm. I'm going to do it one of two ways, depending on if I have a single hand or two hands. If I have two hands, doing that butterfly grip we mentioned before. Sliding down his forearm and I'm controlling the base of his thumb and the base of his pinky with these fingers right here. Now, the butterfly grip naturally puts my palms together. There's a point where my ulna bone meets the carpals of my wrist and it's sticking forward right here. I'm gonna use that point <clears throat> on both my palms in between the middle and index finger knuckle here, and in between the ring and pinky finger here. I've got control here, control here, palm down, palm down, working together. And what I do is I think about <clears throat> getting below him with this palm and lifting, and I wind it up in a circle. can be done to bring him up, can be done to bring him down if the hand is inverted. Just like before, it's a great way to open up a grip. So if he's got a solid fist, just by folding this, his hand opens up, easy for me to disarm. <clears throat> Two hands is ideal, especially if you have smaller hands. If you wish to do this with a single hand, 
The grip is slightly different, but the emphasis is the same. Looking here, I try and touch <clears throat> my thumb and middle finger on the inside of his wrist. Doesn't have to reach it, even if you get about here, that's just fine. These points, they stay fixed, but they are a pivot point. I don't need to be too strong there. Really, the power comes from the drive of my palm right here. So just like before, I hook, push, I get below to bring him up like so. We've got two hands, one hand, do it twice at once. Third wrist lock, We've got two control points here top inside of his index finger knuckle, which I will control with my thumb. The second control point is at the base of the pinky, which I will wrap around with my middle finger like so, so I've got a pinch on it. Notice that I have to reach over the top to get this grip. Most people aren't gonna reach with their hand upside down, so it's not gonna be that easy. You have to come over the top and turn the grip like so. Now, similar to what I was doing before with that C-clamp sort of grip, I've got it right here and I'm pinching his knuckles together slightly. I want to turn the palm over so that his metacarpals are stacked vertically. So I'm not rotating all the way over, just getting to vertical. At that point, I want to make sure there's a bend in this elbow right here. If the arm is straight, it makes it a little more difficult to finish this technique off. So what I do is take this other hand, hook, and I just, with loose body, break free. Now, by taking this grip and pointing my finger upward, that will ensure that I don't under rotate or over rotate, lets me know. <clears throat> that finger now becomes like a sword and I envision cutting his body down his spine, like so. Very nasty spiraling wrist lock, not good. Of course, like the other wrist locks, it helps to disarm. So he's here and he's trying to hit me or something. If I can manage to wrap and turn him around, he won't be able to hold on to this very well at all. I've got a good point of control on him. Do your things for me. Now, I mentioned not over rotating. If you do over rotate, not a big deal. Just turn it into wrist lock number two. Try to put his palm to his forearm. 